Hi, Kayla. Hi. Um, potentially, you could be playing in the World Cup next summer. So, how excited are you for a big night like Tuesday and the, the, the following week to really, you know, highlight your skills on, on such a, a big um, stage? Yeah, definitely. It's really exciting. Um, I think you can't downplay the opportunities to play in high pressure situations in front of hopefully a big crowd. So I think as I prepare for hopefully the World Cup next summer, um, I take take advantage of every opportunity I have to play in these really big games. And so I'm really excited about it. With Jane's really unfortunate injury early in the season, one of the big questions I asked manager early in the season was, you know, what would we do and would we look to come into the market? You know, what would the club strategy be? And he put great faith in you immediately. You you were the one that he was looking for to, to come in. How do you cope with that pressure? And have you enjoyed, you know, being thrust into the, the limelight as such as the, the, the first choice striker? Yeah, I mean, I don't really feel it as pressure so much as as a as an opportunity. Obviously, Jane is a massive loss for the team, and, and you never you never want that injury on anyone. But injuries are part of the injuries are part of the game, and so as players, we're always prepared for our chance um, to play. So I think for me, um, last year, maybe not being able to play as much or get as settled as I would have liked um, just with the competition that we had up top, um, which was expected, then coming back this year and being able to get a bit more time um, is something that's really exciting to me and I, I kind of thrive under the opportunity to um, kind of show what I can do and kind of get settled and, and perform it the best I possibly can. Alan, please. Kayla, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Thank you. What kind of test do you expect from Benfica? Uh, and, you, you know, have you, have you had a chance to look at them in video yet? Yeah, so the the staff have been obviously looking forward to Benfica. As players, we've been focusing on one game at a time, so we obviously just played on Wednesday, and now um, we'll start looking towards Benfica in the next coming days. But with any team that, that you're going into play from a different league that you don't know much about, um, oftentimes it's hard, to, it's hard to compare levels, it's hard to know exactly how we'll match up against them, but um, just like our previous Champions League games, I think the biggest thing for us is to focus on our strengths and focus on how we play um, and to just trust that that will be good enough to get us through those types of games. And so we'll look at them and we'll analyze them and we'll figure out how best we can kind of exploit um, their style of play and type things like that. But ultimately, we have to focus on ourselves and playing as best we can. Thank you. Mark, please. Hi, Kayla. Hi. <clears throat> the, um... Your football career, you've obviously come through the American college system, the American age grade system, and now with the Jamaican national team. Mm -hmm. Playing for a professional team, how much of a culture shock has that been to you? Or have you always had this kind of um, professional mindset when you've, when you've been involved in collegiate football? Yeah, I think a lot of the environments I've been involved in since I was probably 12 or 13 year old, years old have been quite professional in the way they've been set up in terms of what the expectations are um, and obviously we didn't have access to the same facilities it wasn't the same big club um, atmosphere that we have here at Rangers but um, I think just being in a very professional environment from a young age has kind of helped prepare me from turning actually pro. And then the college environment was quite professional as well. Um, we had fantastic facilities at Duke um, in North Carolina, f fantastic coaches, um, like with, with world-class experience. So I think that really helped prepare me from the professional level. And then from college, I played for two years in the NWSL in the US um, in Houston uh, at the professional level. So I felt going from college to pro there prepared me um, pretty well, but didn't get as much experience as I would have liked. So then coming over to Rangers, I feel like I was able to kind of take it a step further and, and my career has just progressed since then. And so it's been really cool to kind of see as it's developed. I feel like I've been prepared for each and every next step, but every place I've gone um, from, the, from the place I've been before has definitely been a step up. And in terms of your, your own development, obviously different coaches have different ideas different teams have got different styles. Since you've come to Rangers, are you playing in the position that you really want to play or do you have to sometimes um, go with what the coaches say? I mean, obviously there's there's different styles of play and different things coaches expect from you, but 
I've played the nine my whole life and I'm very comfortable in that position. So being here and being able to play the nine is great. I've played um, in the midfield occasionally or I've played two up top in different um, formations and stuff like that. So I've had experience in other um, positions and formations, but I'm quite comfortable where I am now and quite confident that this is probably like the strongest um, Mm. position for me. And I also really like the style of play that Rangers has. We look to play, we look to keep the ball, we look to combine um, and build from the back. And I think that's really uh, conducive to me as a player as well. Afternoon, Kira. Hi. Um, you played, obviously, Ibrox last season against Aberdeen and you were on the score sheet. Uh, you seem to be scoring goals quite frequently this season. How much are you looking forward to getting on the pitch at Ibrox again, as you said, hopefully with a big crowd and potentially scoring a, a goal in the Champions League? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like last year's game at Ibrox just had a lot of hype around it because it was our first time playing there. And I think as we go back this year, um, I think we'll all just be a bit more settled about it and we'll all just kind of be ready for the game and take it as it comes and be ready for whatever crowd happens to be there. We'll be ready for the big pitch. We'll be ready for the speed of the pitch. Um, And so obviously I was fortunate enough to get a goal um, last year when I was there, but I I don't think we played at our best in that game. So I'm really looking forward to the game on Tuesday where we can go in a bit more settled, um, a bit more confident and um, be able to perform. And how are you feeling uh, alongside the new signings? They've come in, people like Yeni Danielson, um, and they've done really well. Are you enjoying playing with the new players? Yeah, absolutely. When you bring in new players, it's always fun because um, you bring in players from you know different parts of the world with different styles of play, and it's a chance to kind of learn about each other, learn how to connect with each other, um, learn how to combine. So a player like Yeni is a really, really good player, and she's great to play with in the midfield. She's very strong. She's very dynamic. She's good to combine with. So it's been really fun to be able to play off of her um, and work alongside her. And she's also a great teammate as well. She's very encouraging on the pitch, and so that always helps um, to the team dynamics as well.